Yeah, I keep drowning in those blue eyes And you can tell me all of your lies I will put out all of the fire If it gets too dark Welcome back to my vlog. So I just pulled up to Trader Joe's. I have not been here in so long. Um, Trader Joe's is about like 30 minutes from me, so it's a little bit further away, but I love it. You guys know I love it. Um, so I'm gonna go in, see what I can find, get some of my staples, try out some new things. I also just ordered an air fryer this morning, and I've been wanting one so bad, but I just like they're expensive and I'm like, they take up so much room on your counter. Do I really want one of those? So um, I hadn't bought one till this morning. My mom sent me this one that was just so beautiful. I'll link it down below. It's white and just pretty and it's a double one. And I thought the price was pretty good. So the reviews were amazing. I went ahead and ordered it. That comes in a couple days. And my mom said that a lot of Trader Joe's frozen foods go great in the air fryer. Um, and like tastes really good if you cook them in the air fryer. So anyway, I'm just really excited to try it out, see what this air fryer is all about. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead, head into Trader Joe's. And then if I have some time, I'm gonna try and grab something to eat and then go pick up Cam. Um, but I just got these, how cute are these sunglasses, you guys? I just got these in from Lillian Ryan. I'll link her Instagram down below. You can just shop through DM, like just DM her if you want to buy anything, but she'll post all of her in stock items on stories. So she posted about these a couple months ago and I was obsessed and I tried to order, but she sold out like immediately and then she just got them back in stock, but I think they're already sold out, unfortunately, but you can definitely, um, DM her about these. Just say the Chanel inspired sunglasses like look at the how cute are the um the ear things I don't know what they're called I'm like having total pregnancy brain but how cute is the side so cute it's like quilted look um but yeah just tell her that you're interested in the like Chanel inspired sunglasses that Liza has and also you can try and use um my 10% off code by just mentioning my name she usually gives 10% off accessories so anyway, just wanted to share because I know I'll get questions about these. They're so cute and they're so dark too. They completely block out the sun. Like I can barely even see the camera, honestly. She's the one that I also got this Louis Vuitton inspired bag from that it's like my favorite bag ever that I think I've ever owned. So yeah, she has some good stuff, but I'm gonna go run in and then when I get home, I will share with y'all everything I got. I just got out of Trader Joe's and I got a ton of good stuff I'm excited to share with you guys. I bought this dark chocolate almond buttercup. I'm gonna eat it as a little snack because <laughs> I'm so hungry. I need to go find somewhere to eat lunch, um, but I'm just gonna eat this. The lady told me to just put it in my purse instead of like, instead of packing it in one of the bags. And so I felt like that was a little sign that I should just eat it in the car. Um, but life is all about balance, right? So I did pick up this cold pressed smoothie. It's got cucumber, avocado, mango, spinach, um, and then a blend of lime, cherry, and ginger juices. Got a lot of good stuff in there. So I'm going to drink this. I had a couple sips and it's pretty good. It's like tart, which I like. So I'm going to drink this, have this little chocolate snack, and then find something to eat. just got home um, and I want to share everything I got from Trader Joe's so I'm just gonna start over here so here's a bunch of frozen things um, that I wanted to try this is fiocchetti cheese filled with pink sauce and I don't know it just looked good so I wanted to try it I also picked up this frozen Ar Argentinian red shrimp with ginger garlic butter um, and I think this maybe would be really good with this so I'm gonna try that together and then I've heard so many good things about this so I wanted to try it it's just spaghetti something pepe I have no idea but it says it is creamy sauce with pe pecorino romano cheese and black pepper so pick that up the chicken chow mein is really good so I picked that up I got a kung pao chicken we have an orange chicken already in the freezer so I didn't get another orange chicken but that's like one of my favorites as well some sweet potato fries and then some breaded 
fried ravioli. I'm gonna try this in the air fryer that I bought. I got some Brussels sprouts. I'm gonna throw these in the air fryer too. Cause I hear you can just like throw vegetables in there and pretty much anything. Over here, I got some cream cheese. I got my favorite garlic sauce dip. And then I got some fresh mozzarella cheese, little mozzarella balls that I like to mix with tomatoes. All right, so I picked up my favorite jalapeno sauce. I've been out of this for a while. And last time I was at Trader Joe's, they were sold out. So I was so excited to see this. I put this on literally everything, but it's really good on like Mexican food, tacos, fajitas, all of that stuff. And then they had a new sauce out, honey Aleppo sauce. Sweet, tangy, savory, slightly spicy, all-purpose sauce. So I am excited to try this. I'll let you guys know how it is. I haven't heard about this one though. Picked up my favorite seasoning from Trader Joe's. I'm almost out of this, but I love cooking this on chicken. So good. And then my mom actually told me about this Italian truffle cheese and she said I had to try it. It is amazing. So I grabbed this. Um, I got these apple fruit snacks, mango jalapeno. And then I got these chili spiced pineapple dried fruit. That looks so good to me. Anything like spicy pineapple mango, I'm like so into. I think it's the pregnancy. Picked up some whole milk yogurt for the kids. And then I just needed some dish soap. So I grabbed this. Got some crispy jalapeno pieces. These are good on everything. They're really good in salads too. Um, and then some sweet and spicy pecans for snacking salads, just whatever. These are really good. I've tried these before, the everything but the bagel, almonds and cashews to snack on. And then my favorite Granola, this grainless granola is amazing. So good in yogurt. This is a new item. I wanted to try the dark chocolate almond butter pretzel nuggets. So we'll see how those are. I got some avocados. I got some fish sticks for the kids. I'm gonna put these in the air fryer. Um, and then also these I'm gonna try out in the air fryer as well, just like these little mini pizzas. And then I grabbed some seaweed. I got the teriyaki. Um, this looks pretty good. Lemon arugula basil salad kit with almonds, carrots, Parmesan cheese, and a basil lemon vinaigrette. I love arugula, so I'm gonna try this out. And then I got this many things snack mix, so it's pretty much like, um, what is that? What is that called? Chex mix. <laughs> but it has honey roasted peanut spicy honey butter, cere butter cereal squares, corn sticks, pretzels, and savory bread sticks, or bread chips, so sounds good. I picked up these corn puffs. Um, so this is the same sauce or like seasoning as this. That's supposed to be so good. So I decided to just grab these and try them out. And then I heard these are good. The everything um, bite-sized crackers. These will probably be really good with the um, truffle cheese I picked up. And then these are like my favorite crackers that Trader Joe's makes. So I grabbed some of these multi-grain pita ones. Then I got this coconut shrimp I'm gonna try in the air fryer. I love coconut shrimp. And then I just grabbed the boys some of their little mini silver dollar pancakes. Um, and I think that is everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and put all this stuff away. Um, but I will definitely keep you guys updated with what I like. All right, so I just got out of the nail salon. I had gone in there to get some really cute Valentine's Day nails. And I finally found a place around me that does nail art. Like since moving here like a year and a half ago, I have been to so many different salons in my area and I haven't been able to find anyone who could do like legit nail art. So I finally found a place that does really amazing nail art. I found them on Instagram and they're not too far for me. So booked an appointment. I went in and I had like probably like six different pictures saved of different Valentine's Day nail art that I really loved that I couldn't decide. So anyway, go in. The guy like has to take off my tips because I had um, dip powder on top and like when you get dip powder on your nails, they have to completely start fresh. Like you can't do a fill, which sucks. So it took him a while to like take off my nails, put on new nails, shape them differently because before I had the square and I wanted to do long almond shape for this. So it took him like a while. And it's like creeping up on the time that I need to leave to go get Cam and I, he hasn't done the design yet. And I'm like thinking the design has got to take a while, you know, because if they're just going to paint your nail or just do the dip or gel or whatever, what, like 20 minutes. But I'm like, this is probably going to take a long time because like the nail art that I want to do is like very detailed. I've never done anything like this before. And so I was like, do you think I'm going to be out of here by like this time? And he was like, no. He was like, I cannot rush like the design. Like, no, it's not. 
like it's gonna be a lot longer than that and I'm like all right well I have to go pick up my son he's like okay just come back tomorrow so my nails are not done but um he did like a really nice shape like I like them right now they just look supernatural there's nothing on them it's literally just the tip it's just the tip with whatever on top but there's like no color there's nothing they're completely bare but I really like the shape and at first they were they were like probably double long than this and I'm like the kind of person where like I feel bad like I don't want to be like oh like I don't want to keep complaining because he asked me if I liked the length and I was like yeah it's fine and then like as I was thinking about it and looking at my nails like and they were so long and I was like how am I going to even like do anything with nails this long like I'm not going to be able to do anything and last time I got my nails pretty long I did like the square or I guess they're they're called like co coffin nails and I did them pretty long and I loved them like I loved the length but it was so hard for me to do anything at home like wash the dishes like do anything with the kids like super hard and then they ended up after like a week or so like breaking because they were just so long that they broke my natural nail underneath and it was so freaking painful so I was like okay I can't do that again I cannot get nails that long so I told him to cut them down I actually told him twice to cut them down because I started getting nervous so they're pretty long for me I mean this is these are long but I like them they're perfect they're gonna look so good when I finally get the design on them tomorrow I'm really excited so I'm coming back tomorrow it's like a commitment to get nail art you guys like it's it's a legit commitment I don't know how many times I'm gonna be able to do this but I figure it's Valentine's Day and there's just so many cute designs out there right now that I've been looking at so I will pop back on here tomorrow and I'll show you them once they're finished I also think I'm gonna try to make like a cute reel for Instagram too with the Valentine's Day nails but Anyway, I might as well get going. I actually have a little bit of time since he didn't paint my nails at all um, to grab some lunch and then go do all the other things that I have to do. I think they look cute natural. I mean, I don't know. Also, I think I mentioned in my last vlog that I got the new iPhone 13 finally um, and I got the Pro pretty much for the camera because my old camera was crappy. Um, and so I got some new loopy cases for it. How cute is this loopy case? It's like their sage green one and I'm obsessed with it. It's beautiful. It's such a beautiful color. And then I also got a leopard one and I got like a really sparkly purple. So I had to order some new loopy cases. I also ordered like the glass like shield thing for the front, whatever it's called. But I'm really loving this new iPhone so far. And I did get the Pro, but I didn't get the Max because the Max is like massive. I have pretty small hands, so... This one is actually the same, about the same size as my old XR that I've had for like four or five years or so. But yeah, I just figured I'd show you my new cute loopy case covers. And I do have my code LIZA10, which is always active. And I always have it below in the description as well. If you guys ever want to get some new loopy cases, definitely get that discount with my code. Um, so anyway, yeah. Um, can I get the 12 count chicken nuggets? And then for the drink, can I do the diet lemonade? Can I do the diet frosted? Oh, yes, yes. Perfect, thank you. Um, and then can I do two kids' meals? The apple juice? Yes. And can I do one of the kids' meals with the mac and cheese? And then just one with the fries? Um, can I do some Chick-fil-A sauce and sweet and spicy sriracha, please? Okay, thank you. I just picked up some egg bites. Um, the shaken espresso oat milk brown sugar. <laughs> I forget what it's called, but it's really good from Starbucks. And then there was a crumble cookies right next to the nail salon. Um, I have to show you guys my nails too, but I decided to pick up six of their cookies, all different flavors. I've never had crumble cookies, but I've heard like amazing things. Um, so I decided to pick them up for this weekend so we can try them out. They smell so freaking good. It's going to be really hard not to grab one right now and eat it. Let me show you my nails the lighting isn't the best right now it's like pouring i think they look pretty good let me show you this hand i showed the girl a picture that i found on um instagram and she did it pretty close pretty close i think they're so cute 
So I don't even know what day it is. Honestly, I just popped on here because I wanted to film an outro for you guys for the vlog because I realized I never did that. I actually booked some plane flights yesterday for me and the boys. We are flying to Maryland in April during Camden spring break. We're going to go visit family and I think we're going to drive to Ocean City, Maryland for a few nights. I really, I'm really excited about that because I grew up going to Rehoboth and Ocean City and like Delaware, all those like beaches. And I really want to show the boys like the boardwalk and um, like Jolly Rogers, like little amusement park um, and like all the, the little putt putt golf, um, all the food. The only thing is it's like the end of April, which I'm hoping for decent weather. Like I'm hoping it'll be warm at least. I just don't know if everything's going to be open. I know, I'm sure some things will be, but I don't think like the entire boardwalk and like all the fun stuff is going to be open. It probably doesn't open until like Memorial Day. But regardless, I think it'll be a really fun trip um, and I can still show the boys a lot of things in Ocean City. But I'm really excited. Alex can't come. We're going for like the week and he just has like too much work to do. So it's just going to be me and the boys flying solo on the plane and I'm pregnant and I'm very nervous. I actually got on Instagram stories the other day and I talked about this. I'm trying to like keep my mindset to be like positive, like I can do this, like I'm, you know, I'm a mom, I can do it. Moms do it all the time with their kids alone. And I'm not worried about Cam. I know Cam will be fine. I'm gonna give him um, his Dramamine kids that'll help him with like any like motion sickness. And he'll just like watch a movie, he'll be fine. The flight is only a, like an hour and 20 minutes, but it's Quentin. Last time I was on a plane with Quentin, we went to Disney World, my mom came to help me with the boys. And he was actually pretty good for the first hour, but then we got like stuck. It was like this whole thing. If you watch the, um, the Disney vlog, it was a whole thing. We got like stuck on the plane. We had to like get off and then get back on the plane. And there was all this stuff that happened. And like, that's when he did not behave. It was like the, towards the end of the flight. Like, I feel like if, if we had got off the flight when we were supposed to, he would have been fine. But he also doesn't like to sit still for a very long time. So he'll get up and he'll try to like walk up and down the aisle. It's just, I don't know. I got three seats next to each other. So I'm going to put Quentin by the window and then I'm going to sit in the middle and then I'm going to have Cam sit on the outside of like, or, you know, on the other side of me. And I'm just going to like bring tons of snacks and like games and like new toys and movies and things like that. Again, it's only an hour and 20 minutes. I'm really hoping that everything will be fine. I'm worried about the airport though. Like just like he doesn't like to be in a stroller. Quentin does not like to be in a stroller for a very long time. And I'm hoping just strolling him through the airport, like he'll be just, he'll like to like people watch kind of, so he'll be okay. Um, cause he'll be focused on a lot. But if not, I don't know what I'm going to do. Cause he could have a full on meltdown in the airport and want to get out of the stroller. And if he's out of the stroller, that's the problem. Cause he'll just like run, <laughs> he'll take off. So anyway, I have Cam to help me. Cam is always very helpful. And then on the way back, I might be okay in the airport because my brother and his girlfriend are also flying to Maryland from LA. Um, and so my brother will be flying out hopefully the same day as me so he can hopefully help me with the kids in the airport We'll see. I'm just kind of like venting right now. Um, if you guys have any tips <laughs> with um, Like if, if you mamas have flown solo with your kids give me all the tips Leave them down below in the comments anything I need to know I really am just like I'm really hoping that the movies like downloading movies and stuff like that is really what's gonna help the most so that is the update for now, I need to get a self tan so bad. I just did like a try on at home for stories and I <laughs> I haven't worn a tan in months and months and months. I've just been way too lazy to do it. But you guys, I think it's time. Like I need to tan myself. I it was just not cute at all. And I have a photo shoot coming up soon too. So I definitely need to find like a good tanner or I might just go get spray tan from someone. My merch is coming out soon, which I've told you guys about. I cannot wait to release that um, and share that with you guys. And one more thing before I head out, I have a hair appointment coming up. Finally, I booked my hair appointment. I'm going, my in-laws are coming for the weekend, next weekend, I think. And so they can help me with the kids and I can go because I never know how long my hair appointments are going to take you guys. Sometimes it can take all day long for whatever reason. It just depends on the stylist and I'm going to someone new. So I really just don't know how long it's going to take. Um, so I'm just really glad that my in-laws will be able to help and you'll see what I get done. It's going to be a surprise. I do want extensions, but I'm not getting them done when I go get my hair done next weekend. I'm going to actually talk to my, the hairstylist about extensions because I really would like like one weft in my hair just for some extra volume and a little bit of length as well. I'm, I'm trying to grow my hair out a little bit. So 
You guys will see it when I get it done, but I'm really excited for that. But those are all my updates right now. It's 65 out, you guys. I'm so happy. It's 65. Alex said we're supposed to get another cold front soon, though, which sucks. But for right now, I'm going to just completely enjoy this beautiful weather. 65 in February. I love it. I will take it. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to eat my little um, perfect bar and then... I will catch up with you guys in the next vlog, but I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel and I will see y'all in the next one.